Hey, what is up guys? So a few years ago, I reviewed the Laser Packer 2 and that laser machine is impressive. It engraves nicely on different materials and I even use it to engrave for my wedding souvenirs. And as you see, the engraving is perfect. I'm actually a big fan of Laser Packer and I'm so excited to present you the bigger bro which is the Laser Packer 4. The Laser Packer 4 was created specially for makers and business owners to assist them in transferring their artwork to a wide range of diverse materials and offer a way to tailor an extensive range of products and services based on your demands. The Laser Packer 4 has a dual laser source for almost all materials in one machine which can be switched using the built-in touchscreen or the app. And with this, it's very convenient because you don't need another machine to cover the limitation of one laser machine or vice versa. Laser Packer integrates a 450 nanometer dive laser with 10 watt high speed engraving and cutting and a 1064 pulsed fiber laser with 2 watt and a whopping 8k high resolution engraving in one device. So they improved the engraving accuracy to an unprecedented 8k down to 0.01 millimeter granularity with the latest high speed galvanometer technology. It also has an engraving speed of up to 2000 mm per second and a preview speed of 16000 mm per second and an accuracy of 0.003 mm which is really impressive. Assembling the Laser Packer 4 is really easy. First, let's attach the base to the arm and secure it with 4 screws. And then put the engraving plate. Then attach the laser to the arm and tighten the knob below it. And then attach the protective shield which is magnetic and just make sure that these two holes from the shield and the laser packer lines up perfectly. And then use the cable to connect the arm and fan to the laser packer to obtain power. Then lastly plug the power cable and you're good to go. Right, so moving on to the screen, we have a nice rounded touch screen right here. You can swipe left or right to switch between different laser. You can also switch it to sleep mode then wake it with one touch. You can also check the print history of all the engravings you've printed. And then you can also print directly from it without using the app which is really cool. Right, so let me walk you through the app. So here you can either choose a photo to engrave in your gallery, take pictures, and choose from the clip arts and there are actually tons of it or you can even create a custom one and what's good about the new app is that you can doodle add shapes add multiple pictures and what's even cooler is that now it has layers and after engraving it you can now cut it afterwards which makes things easier because you don't need to go to the settings again and set the parameters just to cut it So it also has some safety features that will automatically stop the laser from engraving if there are a sudden tilt or vibration detected or when you suddenly remove the cover or even an overheating detection in the engraved object. You can also enable password to prevent children from inadvertently operating the machine. It also comes with a protective shield and goggles that blocks 99.9% .9 of 450nm blue laser and 1064nm infrared at the same time to keep your eyes safe. Right, so let's talk about the dual laser on this device. First, we have the 450nm which is best for wood, painted metals, food, cloth, paper, leather, acrylic, and colored glass. And then on the other hand, we have the 1064 nanometer which is best used for engraving metals and plastic. The Laser Packer 4 can accurately cut 5mm thick wood boards in just one pass. So as you see, the cuts are nice and clean. And I also tried cutting on thicker ones and it still did a great job. So here's the thickness comparison. So this one is 8mm and this one is 5mm and it did a great job right so there's also an attachment which is very useful and this is the rotary attachment now with this it allows you to print on cylindrical surface like tumblers glass round objects rings and etc you can also change the clamp size and change the angle there's also a support arm which you can also adjust the height and then all you have to do is slide it in and lock it in place so this is a good support for any cylindrical objects and then this one right here holds round objects like this and by the way, to use this, just connect the rotary to the laser packer, then go to the app and enable the rotary axis, and that's it. This attachment is really important, especially for those who make custom tumblers for business and other engravings. And as you see, the results are amazing. Right, so moving on to the next attachment, which is the slide extension. 
Now this allows you to engrave on longer and larger area like this. It also allows you to engrave seamless on multiple objects or materials and produce massive engravings repeatedly multiple times with no hassle. Right, so here's how to assemble the slide extension. So all you have to do is attach these plates on top of the base, then secure it with six screws. And then plug the cable from the slide extension to the laser pecker and then just go to the app and enable slide extension and that's it you can now start engraving right so here are all the finished products so we got some wooden spoons and by the way you can do it on metal spoon as well and here's my favorite one i really love the outcome it almost looked like a 3d lion the details are amazing and then there's another lion at the back and as you see the engraving is really nice and then we have goku here and the image looks vivid as if it was printed it looks really nice and then i also tried engraving kendall jenner on this metal card so as you see the result is impressive and then we have an iron man here and then another iron man on a stainless steel dog tag so the engraving is nice and clean now this one is a leather wrist strap and the result is awesome and here's a stainless water tank also printed on a ring so as you see the engravings are really nice i also engraved goku on a large bamboo chopping board and it's pretty cool that you can even make a puzzle using the laser pecker so for this i laser cut four puzzle pieces and engraved a lion in the middle i also engraved on my aluminum phone stand and then on my wireless keyboard with my channel name and actually it looks like a factory engraved one and of course i also tried it with glass and as you see the results are nice and i also tried it with a stone and here's what i cut using the laser this one is a five millimeter wood and this one is an eight millimeter thick wood and the cuts are nice and precise and then lastly another iron man engraved in an illustration board so as you see it looks really nice right so i can say that the laser pecker 4 is really impressive it has two different laser in one device all the attachments and features are super useful and not only that it produces fast and high quality engravings on all sorts of materials which is good for business and home use so of course i highly recommend this laser engraving machine and i'm really wondering what innovation will laser pecker bring us in the upcoming years right so thank you so much for watching and if you guys are interested be sure to check the link in the description below like and share this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one